Friday, June 15th, 4.30 a.m. Mountain Time, 2018. Guys, in this video, we're going to take a look at yet some more examples of wildlife behaving unusually. Caught on video and some pictures that were sent in by you guys, the viewers. Keep up the great work. I'm trying to get through all of the data that's been sent in. We receive a lot of sky phenomenon, weather-related uh, emails, unknown emails, wildlife behavior. So got a lot of emails still yet to get through. But I wanted to share with you some that we've gotten here recently. Um, this video here was from Lisa of a squirrel trying to get in the window of their house. And the reason she took the video is because the squirrel had tried this twice now. And she doesn't recall ever, ever seeing it in the past. So she's very close to this little guy right now, and he's not the least bit concerned of her presence. It's almost as if he's smelling something on the screen. I have no idea. It's just another example of the many that we've seen. Um, saw a squirrel here about a month ago walk right up to a hunter out in, out in the uh, forest walked right up to him. We've been seeing baby squirrels walk up to people and crawl up their pant legs. I've seen that multiple times. So very, very odd behavior. This one here is uh, just another example, like I said, of unusual behavior. And you can find all of these instances that we know of here at the website, uh, MrMBB333.com, at the Wildlife Behavior Map. And you'll see that most of the reports are from the United States, but that doesn't mean that they're limited to the United States. Uh, we've, we've gotten them from Canada, from the UK, New Zealand, Australia, uh, but the majority that we see here are from the US. Uh, but those are just the ones that we know of. I'm sure that there are many, many more. Here at the website, in case you haven't checked it out, most of the data through the center here is real-time data, real-time lightning, seismographs, geoelectric map, Interactive weather map, which is the current weather uh, over the United States, solar wind, geomagnetic uh, K index, X ray solar flares, ionosphere, the uh, ACE six hour data sets. All of this is real time, real time human resonance. So if you're interested in these types of things, uh, this is a good little hub for information. All this stuff is updated every time you visit the website, it's new. The Sky Phenomenon Photo Gallery is a great place to look at some really cool pictures sent in by you guys, uh, the viewers. And the daily report up here at the top is a page dedicated to different news stories. A little bit of something in there for everybody. Um, even some scientific white papers that haven't yet been released, um, in some cases, to the public. So, interesting uh, reports there at the daily report. So, don't forget to bookmark the site and check it daily for updates. Continuing on with the unusual observations, this one, the gentleman noticed this observation on television as he was watching TV. His name's Andrew. He's from uh, out here in New Jersey. And this is the location of this unusual find by a gentleman that says he's lived here his whole life and he's never seen anything like this in, I think, over 50 years. Let me find the video here that was shared with me uh, by Andrew. And again, he noticed this on his television, his local news, uh, a few days ago. I'll play it for you here real quick. Uh, June 1st, this, just watching my local news, and this popped up. We got there, we saw about 65 turtles in a grouping. And about 10 feet away was a commercial crab trap. I've been here since 1968, and I've never seen something of this nature. Uh, the crab trap was cut. The line was cut. No one has taken responsibility, and the beach patrol is handing over the crab trap to state wildlife regulators. So he's not sure if it's the side effect of a trap, but he's never seen anything like this. A group of 65 turtles along the coast of New Jersey, right in this area right here, were discovered back on June 1st, 2018. So I don't know if that's got something to do with commercial fishing or if it's a natural phenomenon. At this point, have no idea. But I want to thank you, Andrew, for sharing that with us. We greatly appreciate it. Remember the swarm of this, not any just swarm, it was a massive swarm of mayflies over Iowa 
the report was here at strangesounds.org with these incredible pictures of what look like almost tornadoes, but they're massive swarms of mayflies. Well, they've returned once again, only this time showing up on radar. You're looking at a signature probably 30 or 40 miles wide. That's unbelievable. I've seen signatures on radar of birds, even grasshoppers, but it was very, very small. That is unbelievably big for a swarm of mayflies. And that's up in the Michigan area. As you can see, there's Detroit, there's Ann Arbor. So that would be just south of Detroit. That is huge. Mayflies appearing again like they did in uh, Slidell. Only in Slidell, they were closer to the ground. Those that you saw on radar were in the air. These here, there's probably millions easily at a Slidell gas station, Slidell, Louisiana. Covered both pumps. This just shows one pump, but there were two, and they were absolutely covered to the point where you couldn't even read the selection of gas you wanted or the name of the place. Incredible. And I even had people comment that live in this area and have lived there their entire lives, and they said they've never seen anything like that. So it's kind of an unusual year with regard to mayflies. Pretty weird. Uh, back to the pictures. We've seen the squirrel, the turtles. Got some geese. These were sent in by Charles from Ohio. These were casually strolling through. I think this was a Home Depot or a Lowe's uh, parking lot. Again, a completely oblivious to the cars, the, the van, people in the area. Didn't seem to bother them at all. These geese here were right by the road. Also from Ohio, sent in by Charles family of geese right next to the road and the person's probably within 10 feet of this family of geese and they weren't concerned not in the slightest there's that mayfly swarm once again this here was sent in a few days back a turkey in fort collins colorado we've been seeing uh, much like the mayflies here lately a lot of reports a lot of different pictures and video of wild turkeys in a modern setting walking right in people's front yards in their driveways a gentleman sent us a video from california of i think five six maybe seven turkeys in the driveway of his home he couldn't even pull his car in and this was right in the middle of town much like this little guy in fact i've got another picture of a turkey right in the middle of town this was sent in by stephanie of New York and you can see this is a community these are driveways cars parked in the driveway and much like the other turkey uh, walked right up in the front yard so they almost seem uh, disoriented Un unbelievable and this is a picture from again New York upstate New York and it's a moose that was not directly in town but pretty close to town to where people were calling and trying to get somebody to come help it's a young moose you can tell um, and maybe that was it maybe it's just because he was so young and was out wandering around but he was near the road i guess um, near gloversville new york this next picture is where i want to take you to it's over in the united kingdom south of wales and a bunch of sharks were found along the coastline by people walking the coastline a few weeks ago. Let me see if I can take you back to, here we go. Here's the story here. People ran across what they're saying was nearly 50 sharks that had washed up along the coastline. They weren't huge sharks, they were kind of small, but nevertheless, it was something that they had never seen before. More than 50 sharks were found washed up on the sea Swansea's beaches. Unusual, very odd to see 50 sharks uh, along the beach. So what happened to those sharks? You know, that's very puzzling. That's very, very puzzling. Sharks are very resilient creatures. They were young, but it's almost like something hit them all at once for something like that to occur. And then to be washed up on the shore like that, it, you know, it just kind of shows that something did overwhelm them all at one time. This little guy here was sent in, again, by Charles, who sent in the pictures of uh, 
the geese. He had a groundhog that was following him around one day. This has uh, been a few days ago, but he was very friendly. He didn't bother Charles, but he was following him around like they were like he was a pet. <laughs> very, very unusual. There's one picture, and here's another. I mean, he couldn't get super close to him and pet him, but he was um, he felt very comfortable up close to him. And, and here's the front door of the place. And he was allowing people to take pictures. He was not the least bit concerned by the cameras or people. So again, another example of very unusual wildlife behavior. And you can find all of these on a map here at the website at MrMBB333.com. We just put a little X by the locations of the uh, strange occurrences. Got a couple more before we end the video. This was sent in, uh, uh, sent in by Strawberry. That's the YouTube channel. I'll post the link below in the description box. But this comes from Western Kentucky. And she was able to get very, very close to a couple of wild vultures. They were along the road, and she got out and started filming them. And this is how close she got. Normally, they fly away immediately. And what she was describing was they just kind of casually walked away from her which she said was very, very unusual for these types of creatures. Normally they fly away immediately if humans get anywhere close to them. So these are some wild vultures in western Kentucky that weren't so wild on this day. Anyway, don't forget to check out the website, MrMBB333.com. Links below in the description box. I want to thank you guys for watching. Have a super day and be safe out there.